to get this dress started, we're first going to grab our category 3 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 4mm hook, and we're going to start off by making a chain that comes out to 1 inch. Once we have our inch chain, the next thing we're going to do is block off that chain that we made. We're going to chain up 3, this counts as a double crochet, we're going to prepare for a double crochet. Insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the fourth loop from the hook, with our double crochet. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to put one double crochet into every loop going back down our chain. Now that we have our first row of double crochets, what we're going to do from here is chain up three. This counts as a double crochet again. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and then go in putting one double crochet into every loop going back down our work. And then once we reach the end, we're going to chain up three and double crochet back. And we're going to keep doing this until we have a little double crochet block. Mine is going to be two and a half inches, but this part that we're currently working on is going to lay flat underneath your boob. So this is going to go from where your cleavage is out to about where mid boob is. So go ahead and make that amount. Like I said, mine's going to be two and a half inches, but I'll meet you guys back once we have that done. I now have my little chunk of about two and a half inches and now we're going to start curving our work. So how we do that is going to be pretty close to how we do our rectangular cups, but with a little twist. So what we're going to do is chain up three and then into this little chunk, we're going to be putting one double crochet into every loop. And then we're going to do an increase of three once when we get to that last loop. So we're now at that last loop. And then we're going to put three double crochet into this corner loop. So there's one, there's two. Let's do one more. And then from here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet. And we're going to be working into all of these side double crochets that goes along the length of this little double crochet chunk that we did. And from here, we're just going to be putting two double crochets into each of these side double crochets. And then I'll show you guys how to do the next row after that. We have now double crocheted all the way to the end. This is our first curved row. And then every row after this is going to be the same. So let me just show you really quickly. We're going to chain up three. We're going to flip our work, prepare for a double crochet. And then we're going to do an increase only into these first two loops. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, insert our hook into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then that is how we decrease. And then every time we make our way back over to the side, we're going to be doing a decrease. But once we have that, we're going to be going back into our work, putting one double crochet into every double crochet loop that we have until we get to that middle loop where we have our increase of three in the previous row. And then we're going to do another increase of three into that middle loop as well. So we are almost there. So we're just going to keep it going. Okay. So as you guys can see, this is our increase of three that we did in the previous row. And so into this first loop, we're just going to be putting one double crochet into this middle loop. This is now the corner loop. We're going to put three double crochet into that corner loop. And then once when we have that increase of three, we're going to go back down our work with one double crochet into every loop. And then once we get to the end, we're going to chain up three and then we're going to double crochet going back. And then we're going to maintain that increase that we have in the middle. But I'll show you guys how to do that once we get there. We have worked our way back. We're now working on our third row, but this is all going to be the same. I'm just going to show you guys how to do this one more time before I let y'all have at it. But we're at our increase of three into that first double crochet. We just put one double crochet on top of that into this corner loop or the second loop in that increase of three. We're going to be putting another increase of three to that guy just to maintain that corner. And then we're going to continue working our way down, putting one double crochet into every loop. But we're going to leave the last three loops in order to do our decrease and then put one double crochet at the very end. But I'll meet you guys back once we have that done. We double crocheted all the way down and we have three loops left, like I said, and we're going to be doing in the decrease into these two loops and then one double crochet into that last loop. So just to show you guys, we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that next loop, yarn over, pull through into that second loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then from here, prepare for a double crochet and double crochet once into that last loop. And then since we're here, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it one more time chain up three, flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that next loop that we have, yarn over, pull through, into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two, and then double crochet all the way down, putting one into every loop until we get to our increase of three. Then we're going to do another increase of three into that second loop, 
Make our way to the end, chain up three, and do everything all over again until you get the cup size that you need. And just to let you guys know, the width of my cup size, I'm going to keep going until I have a total of seven inches. And then the height is going to be a little funky because this is going to be the peak and it's going to come up at an angle. But the height is going to be five inches once when I measure up to this peak. But once we have one of these guys done, go ahead and do another one. And then I'll show you guys how to do the middle bottom detail after that. <laughs> This is what we should have once we have both of our cups done. These look kind of crazy, but it'll all work out, I promise. And we have cut and tied both of them, and now we can start working on the bottom portion, which is going to be where all of our detail is. So all we're going to do is grab our yarn, make a slip knot, and we're first going to go in with a row of single crochet that goes all the way across the bottom of one cup. We're going to have a chain in between, and then across the other side of the other cup, and then we're going to start doing... The detail portion so this part's going to be relatively easy we're going to insert our hook into this corner pull the yarn through pull through chain up one to secure and then you guys already know the deal we're going to be working into all of these side double crochets so into each side double crochet we're going to be putting two single crochet all the way across and then i'll meet you guys back once we make it to this inner corner and then i'll show you guys what to do we have now single crocheted all the way across the bottom of just one of our cups and then this next part is going to depend on your bust size. I do not have a bust size so I'm just going to be going in with a chain one in between my two cups but if you guys have a bigger bust and you guys want your cups to be just a little bit further out from each other go ahead and add two or three chains however many you guys need. But for me like I said I'm just going to do a chain up of one and then I'm going to insert my hook into this inner corner as well yarn over pull through everything and then continue to go in putting two single crochet into every side double crochet that we have and then i'll show you guys how to do the next row once when we get to the end we have single crocheted all the way across and then now we're going to start working on our first layer for our bottom detail so our first little bit we're just going to be doing a chain up of three flip our work prepare for a double crochet and we're going to be going in putting one double crochet into every loop that we have until we get two, two loops away from this middle loop that we have right here in our chain that we did in the middle hold on this is twisted yeah there we go so this is my chain that i did in the middle i'm going to stop two loops right before that and then i'll show you guys what to do so i have double crocheted my way all the way down until we have two loops left right before we get to this middle gap and i realize that i have a chain up of two instead of just a chain up of one and if you guys have an odd number and you guys have a middle chain to go into go into that middle chain but if you guys don't if you guys have two like me go ahead and chain up one but this is all going to be the same so we're going to prepare for a double crochet if you have a chain up of two we're just going to be going on the other side of our chain but if you guys have an odd number then we're going to be going into that middle loop but we're just going to be doing a kind of shell. So we're going to go in with three double crochet. There's three double crochet. Chain two. And then put three more double crochet into that same loop or area that we are in. And then once we have that, chain one, prepare for a double crochet. Count two loops. One, two, double crochet into the third. And then go in putting one double crochet into every loop going all the way back down. And then once when you get to the end, go ahead and cut and tie. We now have a row of double crochet, shell, double crochet. And now we're going to start working on my favorite part, which is the middle detail. So in order to do that, we're going to grab our yarn, grab our yarn, grab our hook again. And then we're going to count out three loops from our shell. So there's one. This is the chain that we did. So here's one, two, three. Insert your hook into that third loop. Pull your yarn through, and then we're going to do a chain up of one that ooh, secures it and then also counts as a chain for the pattern. And then we're going to prepare for a double crochet. We're going to insert our hook into this first double crochet loop that we have with just one double crochet. And then from here, we're going to do chain one, prepare for a double crochet, go into the next double crochet loop that we have. Chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet loop. And then once we're here, we are at our chain two that we did in the previous row. We're going to chain out another two on top of that. Prepare for a double crochet. And then into this next double crochet loop that we have into the other side. We're going to put one double crochet, chain one, and then put one double crochet into every loop with a chain one in between. 
So since we're pretty close to the end, I'll just show you guys. Chain one. Double crochet. We should have three double crochet, three double crochet. And then to connect it, we're going to chain one and then we're going to count out another three loops. So here's one, two, three. Insert your hook into that third with a slip stitch. And this is what we should have so far. So a mini shell-ish and then a shell expansion-ish. And then in order to work our way up to the next row, we are going to slip stitch up the next loop. We're going to chain out three, flip our work, and then into this first gap that we have where we did our chain one double crochet into that first gap, we're going to do a single crochet. Do that again. Chain out three into that next gap, single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this all the way across and then I'll show you guys how to connect your work into the base once we get there. And this is what we should have so far just to make sure that our rows or our loops are even. I'm sorry. We have one, two, three, four. And then this is where that middle gap is. One, two, three. And then we're about to attach our fourth one. So once we have our chain up of three, we're going to insert our hook into that next available loop that we have into the base with a slip stitch and then we're going to be doing one more row of these loops so slip stitch up one chain up three flip our work and then go ahead and go in putting one single crochet into every loop that we have let's do this one more time chain up three into that next loop single crochet and then do this all the way across and then connect to the base the same way that we did the previous row this is what our work should be looking like so far. We now have two rows of loops and let me show you guys how to do the next little bit. The next row that we're going to do is going to be a row of loops, but we're going to have a little detail into this middle loop that we just made for ourselves. So let's do that together. Into that next loop, we're going to do a slip stitch that helps us work our way up to the next row. Flip our work and then let's do this. Chain three, single crochet into that next loop. Ooh, two, three, single crochet, one, two, three, single crochet. Okay, we're almost there. We got one more, one, two, three, single crochet. And then we just have this middle loop left and we're going to be doing another shell. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that middle loop with one, two-ish, two, -ish, two <laughs> three double crochet. Once we have that, we're going to chain two and then put three more double crochet into that same loop. So there's one, two, and three. And then once we have that, we're going to single crochet into this next available loop that we have. Single crochet, because that's what we did over here. We just want everything to be even. Once we have that guy, we're going to chain up three into this next loop, single crochet. And then keep doing this all the way down once we make it to the end. We're going to connect with a slip stitch into the base just like how we've been doing. So this is our work so far. We have our first shell, which is in the same row as our solid double crochet that went all the way across, our little shell expansion, one row of loops, two row of loops, and then a row of loops with this little shell detail in the middle. Then once we have that, let's work on the next, wrong end, we're going to work on the next loop together, next loop, next row together. So in order to work our way up to the next row, for this next row, we're going to be slip, sh slip stitching up the <laughs> next <laughs> two loops just like that. We're going to flip our work and then into this first loop, we're going to prepare for a double crochet. And we're going to go in putting five double crochet into that first loop. So there's three, four, and five. Once we have that, we're going to single crochet into that next loop prepare for a double crochet five double crochet into the loop after that there's two ish three four and five once we have that single crochet into the loop after that and then once we have that we're going to do another shell expansion so we're going to chain up one prepare for a double crochet into this first double crochet loop that we have we're just going to be putting one double crochet just like that then we're going to chain one prepare for a double crochet into this next loop double crochet chain one prepare for a double crochet double crochet on top of the top on top of the double crochet in the previous row and then once we get here we are at this middle loop that we have we're going to chain two 
Prepare for a double crochet and just put one double crochet into this middle gap. Just like that. And then we're going to chain two, prepare for a double crochet, put one double crochet into that next loop. And do the same thing, but we'll do this together really quickly. Chain one, prepare into the next loop, double crochet, chain one, prepare into the next loop, do a double crochet. And then once we get here, we're going to want this side to mimic the same thing that we did on this side. So we're going to chain one into this first bigger loop that we have right here, one single crochet. And then from here, prepare for a double crochet, put five double crochet into the next loop. Once we have that single crochet into the next loop, five double crochet, and then continue doing that all the way down. We have made it to the end and I'm just going to show you guys how to slip stitch into the base again. So we have five double crochet, single crochet, five double crochet, and then we're going to look into the base. We're going to count up to one, two, insert your hook into that second loop with a slip stitch. And then the row after this is going to be a row of fan expansions or shell fan expansions, whatever we're calling this. So we're going to be slip stitching up the next two. There's one, there is two chain up one flip our work and then we're going to prepare for a double crochet insert our hook into that first loop with a double crochet chain one double crochet into the next loop chain one double crochet into the next loop chain one double crochet into the next loop chain one and then double crochet into the next loop but once when we get to this single crochet in between our what are we calling it shells i guess we'll call them shells for now but once we get to the very last double crochet loop that we have into this first shell, we're not going to do a chain one. We're going to automatically prepare for a double crochet. We're going to skip this single crochet loop that we have that we put into the loop in the previous row. And then we're going to go into the first loop that we have into the next fan. And we're going to chain one, prepare, chain one, prepare. We'll just do the rest together. Chain one, prepare, double crochet. This is where we got chain one double crochet chain one double crochet and then once we get to the end of this fan it's going to be the same deal we just have a little bit different of a loop to go into so we're going to prepare for a double crochet and we're just going to be inserting our hook into this gap that we made for ourselves with our fan expansion in the previous row just like that chain one into the next gap double crochet chain one into this next gap double crochet and then once when we get here we're going to chain one and then we're going to be putting a shell shell into this double crochet loop that we have. So all that's going to be is prepare for a double crochet into this double crochet loop that we have. We're going to be putting two double crochet. There's one. There's two. Chain out three. And then put two more double crochet into that same loop. So there's one. And then there is two. And then once we have that chain out one and then we're going to do the same thing that we did on this side so we skipped this bigger loop where we did our chain two in the previous row and then we went into that next loop with a double crochet and then we're going to follow the same pattern that we just did on the other side all the way down of just chain one double crochet chain one and then once we get to this middle portion where the two shells meet we're just going to automatically go in with a double crochet into the first loop that we have into our next shell. And then I'll meet you guys back once when we have connected this row to the base. This is what we're looking at so far now that we've added a couple rows since the last time I said this is what we're looking at. But anyways, so we have our first shell which is connected to our double crochet row, our shell expansion, two rows of loops, sorry I forgot what they're called, and then a third row of loops that formed a shell in the middle and then right after that, a row of, I guess we can call these fans, <laughs> a row of fan, single crochet fan with a shell expansion in the middle, and then continue that back down, and then fan expansions with a shell in the middle that went all the way down. And then what we are going to do from here is, once when I insert my hook, we're going to slip stitch up the next loop flip our work and then we're going to be going once into every loop that we have with just one oy, with just one single crochet until we get to this little middle part that we have where our two um 
uh, fan expansions met. So let's put one single crochet into every loop until we get there. Okay, and then once we get here, we obviously have these two double crochets that are right next to each other. And what we're going to do is put one single crochet into that first double crochet. We're going to chain up three and then go into that next double crochet that we have with a single crochet. So we're just going to be doing these little bulbs in between where our fan expansions meet each other. And then we're going to work our way all the way down. And then I will show you guys what to do from there. We just made our way all the way around with our row of single crochet with our little bulbs in between. And then what we're going to do from here is slip stitch up the next two loops. We're going to chain out one, flip our work. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and then we're going to count out three loops. One, two, three. Insert your hook into that third. And we're going to go in with two double crochet. So there's one and then there's two chain one prepare for a double crochet count out three one two three insert your hook with two double crochet so we're going to be going in with a row of net ish but it's going to be a little bit thicker since we have these two double crochets let's do this again chain one prepare for a double crochet count out one two three then we're going to double crochet twice into that third loop once we get here we're going to chain one into this bulb we're going to be doing a half double crochet. So prepare for a half double crochet. I just made that up on the fly, don't mind me. But we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. And then once we have that, chain out one, and then we're going to continue doing the same thing. So prepare for a double crochet. We're first going to mimic what we did on this side. So we didn't go into this first loop that we had into this row, as you guys can see, it's right there. So we're going to skip that first loop right here, and then go in with two double crochet into the next loop. And then we're going to, can you hit, I can't speak. We're going to continue doing this all the way down. And then I'll show you guys what to do once when we get to that middle point that we have. So we are here. We are just a couple loops away from this middle peak that we have. And this is going to be a little different for everyone. We're either going to have an increase of chains in the middle, which is what I think mine is going to be. Or if you guys have your work meet right into this middle loop, then you can go ahead and just do an increase of three. So that's three double crochet into this middle loop. But whatever it is, just try and make it even on both sides. But for me, once when I get here, I'm going to continue to count out three, one, two, three into this third one. As you guys can see, it's not this middle loop, but that is okay. That is not necessary. So we're going to go in with the same deal. So two double crochet into that loop. And for me, like I said, I'm going to do an increase. So just a chain up of three. Prepare for a double crochet. We're going to skip this middle loop and then go into the next loop doing two double crochet. There's one there's two and then once we have oh wait no the first one that i did was a half double crochet but you guys get the deal so go ahead and continue doing the same pattern that we did on this side all the way down the other side we have just made our way all the way down with a row of thicker net and then what we're going to do from here is some more loops so into this next loop we're going to do a slip stitch but we're going to chain up one two three four flip our work and then we're going to skip this first gap that we made for ourselves and go into the gap after that with a single crochet just like that and then we're going to chain out one two three four single crochet into that next gap and then now that we're here well let me just show you one two three four and then in between our half double crochet and this little set of two double crochet we're going to do a regular chain of four single crochet and then just over this itty bitty half double crochet that we have we're going to be chaining out one two so we're going to have a little baby loop right here and then into this next loop or that gap i'm sorry single crochet one two three four single crochet into the next one two three four single crochet into that next gap eh. one two three four into this gap that we have in between our half double crochet and two double crochet and then right over this half double crochet, just a little itty bitty chain of one, two, single crochet. We're going to chain up one, two, three, four into the next gap. If I can. There we go. One, two, three, four. 
And then we have this gap right here. Into this gap that we have in between, we're going to do single crochet. And then into this shell that we did in the previous row, we're going to chain out two, prepare for a double crochet, and then do three double crochet into that middle gap. One, two, and three. Once we have that, we're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, put three more double crochet into that middle gap. So there's two and there's three. And then this is what we should have. So from the end, we have chain four, single crochet, chain four, single, chain four, single, chain, what is this? Chain two, single, and then did that all the way down. Once we made it to the end, chain two, and then we did a shell, which was three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Once we get here, we're going to do the same thing that we did on this side. So chain two, then into this first gap, single crochet, and then do the same thing that we did on this side, going back down the other way. This is what we're looking at so far. So we have our shell that was attached to our double crochet row, shell expansion, row of, what do we call this? Loops? <laughs> Another row of loops, a row of loops, and then in the middle we had a shell. And then we did a row of fans that eventually led to a shell expansion. And then, hold on, I can't see what we did. <laughs> Here, oh, and then we did fan expansions on top of that. And we did a row of single crochet with bulbs in between each fan expansion all the way across. Then we did a row of thicker net that went all the way across. And then we just did a row of net with a shell in the middle. And we've just made our way all the way down with our row of net. And the next thing we're going to do is slip stitch up one loop, flip our work, and then from here we're just going to go into this first loop that we did with a single crochet. And then from here we're going to prepare for a fan, so we're going to prepare for a double crochet. And we're going to start off by putting seven double crochet into this next loop. So there's two, three, four, five, six ish six almost there seven well, once we have our seven double crochet into this next loop we're going to put a single crochet and then when we have this little itty bitty guy right here this little loop that we made for ourselves we're going to chain up three one two three we're going to single crochet into the next big loop so we're just going to leave this gap right here and once we have that we're going to prepare for a double crochet and put seven more double crochets into that next loop feel like there's a fleet of motorcycles that have just driven past my house. Anyways, we're going to put seven double crochets all right here. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do one more. And then I'm going to stay with you guys until we reach that middle point. So into this next loop, single crochet, chain up three, skip this little itty bitty loop that we made for ourselves, single crochet into that next loop, and then into this next loop, we're going to do seven double crochets so there's two three four five six and then seven and then we have one more kind of loop right before we get to our shell we're going to single crochet into that guy and then once we have that we're going to single crochet once into every loop until we get to the middle gap of this shell so here's one two three and also put one single crochet into that gap once we get here we're going to chain up one two three single crochet into that same gap and then single crochet back down so one two three working our way back down the shell and then technically one more because we need to put one more into this gap that we have and then from here prepare for a double crochet go into the next loop with seven and then keep working your way all the way down now once we get to the end connect with a slip stitch We've made our way all the way to the end with our row of fans, and now we're going to do some little fan expansions over that. So we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops. Once we get here, we're going to chain up one, flip our work, and then we're going to prepare for a double crochet, and then we're going to go in with one double crochet into every loop that we have. So there's one with a chain one in between, so chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. I won't sing to you guys because I can't sing, but we're going to keep going. We're almost there. Chain one, double crochet, 
chain one and double crochet and then if we go ahead and count this out one two three four five six seven it should be seven double crochets or whatever amount you guys have for your fan down here and then once we get here we're not going to do anything into this gap that we have in between our fans so we're just going to automatically go straight into a double crochet and go into the first loop that we have into the fan or into the next fan so double crochet chain one double crochet chain one keep doing this all the way down and then once we meet the peak down here i'll meet you guys back we just did our last fan expansion because we are right where this middle peak is so what's when one what i cannot talk once when we get here we're going to chain out two and then we're going to do kind of a fan expansion except there's no fan right here so we're going to prepare for a double crochet insert our hook into this loop that we made for ourselves in the previous row we're going to go in with a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and a double crochet so basically just three double crochets with a chain one in between and then from here we're going to repeat everything that we did on this side so chain two prepare for a double crochet put one double crochet into the next double crochet loop and then do double crochet chain one double crochet chain one going all the way back down and then connect it to the base and then i'll meet you guys back we just finished up doing our row of fan expansions and then from here we're going to slip stitch up one loop flip our work and we're going to be going into every loop that we have with a single crochet so we have a loop here single crochet loop here single crochet we're going to keep going all the way down until we reach those two double crochets that don't have a chain one in between so that we can do a little itty bitty bulb so let's keep going together really quick since we're almost there <laughs> okay here 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 now once we get here we do have these two double crochets so we're going to put one single crochet into that double crochet loop that we have we're going to chain up three one two three and then go into that next double crochet loop that we have with a single crochet so we just have a little itty bitty bulb right here and then we will do the same thing going all the way down and i'll show you guys what to do once when we get to the peak we've now made our way over to the peak and as you guys can see we just have our chain two and then the little kind of peak that we made for ourselves so we're still going to follow the rules of putting one single crochet into every loop until we get to that middle double crochet that we have so we just did a single crochet into that gap what we're going to do from here chain up three and then go into the next gap with a single crochet and then continue doing the same pattern all the way down and then connect into this base with a slip stitch Alrighty, so row of single crochet all done next we're going to do another row of netting so we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops chain up one flip our work and then we're going to prepare for a double crochet skip one loop go into the loop after that with just one double crochet and then we are going to keep working our way down until we get to this little loop that we left for ourselves so we'll stick together for a smidge bit longer and here so once we get here we don't have any more loops to go into or we have one loop left kind of like how i have here i'm not going to go into this loop because i want to do a little shell into this loop that we left for ourselves so we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then we're going to go in with three double crochet into that loop so there's one two three once we have that chain up two prepare for a double crochet and then go back in with three more double crochets so there's one two and then three and then once we have that we are going to prepare for a double crochet and then insert our double crochet into the same loop that we have over here so we have one two insert into the third so we have one two insert into the third here and then continue going all the way down with the same pattern until we meet our middle loop right here and then i'll show you guys what to do and we are now at the peak of our work and what we're going to do from here it's going to be the exact same thing but instead of not doing a chain one in between we are going to be doing a chain one in between so chain one once we get to this last double crochet loop that we have right here 
we're going to skip all of these loops and just go straight into this big loop that we made for ourselves. So prepare for a double crochet. Do three of them. There's two. There's three. Chain two. Three more. One. Two. Three. Chain one. Prepare for a double crochet. And then we're going to do the same thing that we always do. We're just going to take a look at what loop our last double crochet was in. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're going to count out five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then from here, continue doing this pattern all the way down the other side and then connect into the base with a slip stitch. We have just finished up doing a row of net with shells in between and we are almost done with this portion. The next thing we're going to do is just do a very simple row of single crochet. So we're going to slip stitch up the next loop, flip our work, and then we're going to go in putting one single crochet into every loop that we have, but stopping right before we get to the shell because we're going to try to even this out so that this comes out to a perfect triangle for when we do this skirt portion. So let's keep going together. We are almost there. And just about here. Oh wait, we have one more loop left, this last double crochet loop. Once we get here, all we're going to do is chain out one, two, three, and then into this shell gap, single crochet. Chain out one, two, three, and then single crochet into this first double crochet loop that we have, and then keep going all the way down. I'll meet you guys back at the peak. We have single crocheted all the way down to the peak, and we will be maintaining this peak, so we're going to chain out three, prepare for a double crochet, and then put one shell into this shell gap. So there's two, three, chain two, put three more double crochet into this gap. So there's one, two, and three, chain out three, and then single crochet into every loop, and I'll meet you guys back once we get down to this base. Go ahead and slip stitch to the base, and I'll show you guys how to do the last row of this. We are now all finished up with our row of single crochet and the last row that we are going to do is a row of double crochet. So we're going to slip stitch up two loops, flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, and then we're going to be going once into every loop that we have until we get to this little stretch of chain that we have. And then I'll show you guys what to do once when we get there. Once we put one double crochet into every loop, what we're going to do from here is simply chain out two and then into the single crochet that we have that is connected to this previous row. Just going to put one single crochet right on top of that. Chain two, prepare for a double crochet, and then put one double crochet into every loop going back down. And then continue doing this pattern all the way until we reach this peak, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. We are now at the peak and what we're going to do from here is chain out three and we're going to insert our hook into this gap with a single crochet. Chain out three, we're going to make a little bulb, single crochet back into that shell gap <laughs> and then we're going to chain out three again, prepare for a double crochet, put one double crochet into this first single crochet loop that we have but basically just skipping this gap all together and then continue making our work all the way down and go ahead and cut and tie once when you get to the end. Once when we're done doing our bottom detail, this is what we should have so far. I did go ahead and cut and tie and now we're going to do just a little detail above the cups. So let's do that together. Just to start it off really quickly, we're going to insert our hook into this top corner. Grab our yarn, make a slip knot, insert that onto our hook and then chain out four. Now that we have our chain out of four, we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then there's going to be a kind of loop that we have in between these two double crochet rows that we're looking at. We're just going to insert our hook into that kind of loop and double crochet just like that. Let's do this a couple more times. Chain one, prepare for a double crochet into that kind of loop, chain one into that kind of loop. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we have maybe two or three loops left until the bottom because then we're going to jump across and connect this over to the other cup. We have done our netting all the way down. Like I said, we have about two loops left and then this is going to be, yeah, this is going to depend on your chest size. 
I'm just going to make a chain of one, but if you guys need a bigger gap in between the cups, go ahead and make a bigger chain. But once we have that, we are going to prepare for a double crochet, and then we're going to take a look and see what loop we were just into. So we count up one, two, three. Our three is the third. I cannot speak. Is the third loop that we're into. So we're going to count up one, two, three. Insert our double crochet into that third loop, and now we have this cute little gap in the middle. And then once we have that, we're going to continue working our way all the way up with a row of net. We have done our row of net all the way up the other side of our cup and now I just have one more super quick row to do. So all we're going to do is chain up three. This counts as a double crochet and then into this first net that we made for ourselves. Oh, we're going to go in with two double crochet. So there's one, two. We're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, skip one net, go into the net after that with two double crochet. So it's going to be a row of net and then a row of thicker net. Then we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we reach the middle and then I will show you guys what to do. We have just finished up doing our last set of two double crochet and then we have one loop left. That's fine. We're just going to ignore it. But once we get here, we're just going to prepare for a treble crochet. So we're going to yarn over once, twice, and then just insert your hook into this very large gap that we have and then do a treble crochet. And then from here, we're going to repeat the same thing that we did up here. So prepare for a double crochet, skip one, not a loop, a net, and put two double crochet into the one after that. Chain one, prepare for a double crochet, skip one net, two double crochet into the net after that. And then we're going to be doing a really quick border row, but I'll show you guys how to do that once we get to the end. So don't cut and tie just yet. To get started on this border row, it's just going to be a regular row of single crochet, but once we make it over to these regular loops or stitches, we're going to be doing back loops. So I say once we get here because for a couple of these, we're going to be working into side double crochets just like this. So when we're here, we're going to chain up one and then you guys know into each side double crochet, we're going to put two single. So there's one, two, and then now we are at the loops and all we're going to do is do back loop single crochets. So let's see where the first loop is first. This is the first loop. We're going to, if I can hide this guy in there with me, I would love to, insert our hook into that back loop and then single crochet. And we're doing it this way so that we have a nice separating border in between this piece of work and then the dress portion. But yeah, go ahead and keep doing this all the way down and around. Nothing fancy. And then once you guys reach all the way back here, connect with a slip stitch, cut and tie, and then we will get started on the dress. Ta-da! This is what we should currently have once when we have made our way all the way around with our back loop single crochets. And now we're going to start working on the skirt portion. And this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt, but trust me, it'll end up looking really great. But how we're going to start it off is pick a cup. It doesn't matter which one. We're just going to insert our hook into that cup corner and then we're going to insert our yarn pull through and then we're going to start off by making just a regular chain that goes down it's a chain but you're going to want to make sure that this is the length that you want but keep in mind please keep in mind that this is going to shrink because we're going to be end up we're going to be end up we're going to end up working with back loop single crochet so this will shrink quite a bit so make sure that you guys put that into account. So I will go ahead and make my chain and then I will tell you guys the chain that I made in the next clip. Once we have our chain, my chain is 21 inches by the way, we're going to block off that last chain, chain up one, and this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go into that first loop that we have, or the first loop that we blocked off, I'm sorry, or the second loop from the hook with a slip stitch. So we're going to yarn over it and pull through everything just like that and then we're going to slip stitch all the way down and then I'll show you guys how to connect it to the base. We have slip stitched all the way down and once we get here we're going to connect it to the base. So into this next loop that we have we're going to insert with a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next available loop that we have in order to work our way to the next row. And then this is going to continue to be, well, we just did regular 
slip stitches. Now it's going to be back loop slip stitches. So instead of going in through both of these guys, we're just going to go in through the back loop with a slip stitch. I don't know why I'm whispering, but we're going to continue to do this all the way down until we reach right about here. And then from here, we're going to have to start decreasing, but I'll show you guys how to do that once we get there. And this is going to take a little bit. I'm really sorry for this pattern, but it'll all work out. But yeah, go ahead and grab a snack, turn on some music, watch some TV. Let me know what you guys are watching. I'll probably be watching my Guilty Pleasure show, which is 90 Day Fiance. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll meet you guys back once when we get right here. So we just made it all the way down of this little blunt section that we have. And as you guys can see, we're going to need to start decreasing until we make it all the way to the peak. We are going to be making this in pieces. But once when we get here, we're going to start to decrease. So we're going to slip stitch up to the next loop in order to work our way up to the next row. That is always the same. And then once when we get here, we're just going to be decreasing into the first two loops. So these are still going to be still back loop slip stitches. Yeah, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, insert our hook into the next loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And that's how we are going to be starting and ending everything in this row. So once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up one, work our way back. And then once we work our way back, we're going to leave the last two loops doing two, no, I'm sorry, doing one back loop decrease. I'm sorry, I can't think today. But once we get there, attach it to the base and then just keep doing that all the way down until we make it to this middle loop. And then we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. But I'll show you guys how to do that once when we get there. So this is what we should have once when we have exactly one half done. Meaning we have done our back loop slip stitches with our decreases right here all the way until we got to this middle loop that we have. And this is what we should have. And then once when we get here, all we're going to do is cut and tie. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And then we're going to go and do this part blunt and then when we get down here we're going to do the same thing of going in with decreases going all the way down once we make it to the middle we are going to cut and tie and then we're going to connect them together making a seam on the inside but i'll show you guys how to do that once we get there as you guys can see we just got done doing both of our front panels for the dress and now we're just going to need to connect it and then we can start doing the back portion so how we connect it we're first going to take a look at the design portion and remember how we did the back loop single crochets we have this little ridging that we did from the back loop single crochet row that we did this is going to be the front so we're going to fold our dress on top of each other making sure that this ridging is touching each other and then by doing it this way our seam is going to be on the inside of the dress but once when we have this we obviously don't have any more loops on the middle design to go into so what we're going to do from here is we're going to go down with a row of single crochet going into the outside loops. So really quickly, the outside loops is into the front panel. We're going to be going into the front loop, which is the one that's closest to us. And then in the back panel, the panel that's furthest away from us, we're going to be going into the outside loop. So we're going to be working into the outside <laughs> loops on both. So into this first loop that we have, we're going to insert our hook. And then into the first loop that we have on the back panel, we're going to be going into the back loop and then from here we're just going to single crochet and we're doing it this way so that we can have some ridging on the front just to match this ridging it's not going to be exactly the same but it's going to be a lot better than just doing a regular row of single crochet then you'll just kind of have like a regular seam line down and it'll be a lot more noticeable than what we're doing so let's do this a couple more times into this next loop we're going to be going into this front loop into the next loop that we have into this back panel we're going to go into the back loop and then single crochet one more time together into this next loop we're going to go into this front loop and then into the back panel we're going to go into the back panel or back loop and then single crochet and then we're going to keep doing this all the way down and then once we make it to the end we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to start working on the back but i'll meet you guys back before we get that started we've now connected our two front panels together and if we flip it inside out you guys can see that this is the seam and then the next thing that we have to do is do our back panel and we're going to do those in separate sections as well so we're going to take our same yarn and we're going to start off at the bottom just because this is easier 
but we're just going to insert our yarn onto our hook and then the rest of this is going to be exactly the same pattern so we're going to chain up one just to secure it in and then we're going to go into the back loop of the next loop with a slip stitch and then keep doing this all the way down and then we're going to continue this onto the cups i'll meet you guys back once when we get here but we're going to continue this onto the cups until we get a little bit higher than where the just portion's at so that we can attach the sleeves in later but i will meet you guys back once when we get there we just got done doing our back loop slip stitches going all the way up and we are at the last loop right before we get to the cup and it's going to be exactly the same we're just going to continue to go into the back loop with slip stitches until we get to right about where we do our increase of three i'm going to stop at the loop right underneath that but i will get there and then i'll show you guys once we get there so as you guys can see we have now slip stitched all the way up until we've gotten to the loop that is right next to where we have our increase of three into the cup that we did and then that is where i'm going to stop once we get here we're going to chain up one flip our work and then this little chunk is going to be solid so we're not going to do any increases or decreases so just go ahead and go back and forth with back loop slip stitches and then i'll meet you guys back once when i have the length that i need and then i'll tell you guys the length that i need in the next clip so i just finished up doing my little side panel that we have and our side panel is just our back loop slip stitches that we've been doing for basically the entirety of the bottom of the dress and then from the side of the cup to where i ended i have two inches but keep in mind that this does stretch quite a bit and then also i just went from the side of the cup and then i went from there to underneath my arm to where my arm ended like right where my back starts <laughs> So once when we get there, we're going to want to make sure that we end that last row up top because this is going to be where our back V starts so that we can start to incorporate our corset back tie. But once we get here, it's basically going to be the same thing that we did down here. We're just going to be decreasing into every first two loops into the first two loops that we have up here. Work our way down, keep the bottom blunt work our way back up leave the last two loops and then do a decrease in there as well so i'm just going to remind you guys how to do how to do a decrease one more time and then i'll let y'all have at it but once when we get here i already did my chain up of one so i'm going to back loop insert my hook into the first loop yarn over pull through back loop into the next loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and then that is how we decrease and then from here go ahead and just go in with back loop slip stitches going all the way down once we make it to the end keep it blunt we're not going to do anything fancy we're going to chain up one and then work our way back leaving the last two loops and then we're going to do back loop decreases into these last two loops and then keep doing this until this little decrease portion that we have gets to mid back i know this is going to sound really weird but this will stretch a bit so i'll meet you guys back once when i actually have it done so that i can tell you guys my length but just keep doing this until this reaches mid back minus maybe a couple inches because it does stretch so i hope that makes sense if not go ahead and leave a comment down below or just say what's up tell me what you're doing today and then i'll meet you guys back this is what i have once when i have finished doing the side panel which is what we're calling the blunt portion and then also doing the decrease and i went ahead and cheated a little bit and already did the other side as well because i knew that this was the length that i wanted and this is going to be different for everyone but just to let you guys know, going from right where the edge of the cup is all the way until where I stopped, I have a total of five inches and I have the same thing on both sides. And then now that we have both of them done, we can go ahead and connect them and we're going to connect them the exact same way that we connected the front portion. So all we're going to do is make sure that this front ridging is facing each other when we fold it over because we want the seam to be on the same side. And then we're going to be working into the outside loops doing single crochets so really quick refresher on how to connect I already have my hook inserted into where I left off and if you guys cut and tied that's fine go ahead and just insert your yarn and your hook into the corner but once we have that we're going to insert our hook into this corner on the other side that we have on the other panel if I can there we go and then once we have that, we are going to yarn over, pull through everything. 
And then once we have that, we're going to be working into the outside loops. So just like before, in the panel that's closest to us, we're going to be going into the inside loop, which is this one right here, the one that's closest to us. And then from this one on the back panel, we're going to be working into the back loop. And then once we have that, we're going to single crochet. Let's do this one more time. So into the front panel, the one that's closest to us, we're going to be going front loop. And then into the back panel, we're going to be going in through the back loop. And then single crochet together. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way up. Once we get to this point, we're going to cut and tie. This is what things look like once we have the entire portion of the backs connected. And one of the last things that we have to do for the body portion of the dress is just go in to clean up the edges with single crochet and then also make loops right here so that we can insert our corset back tie. So looking at where we have the V in the back, we're first going to go in with our hook into this corner that we have and it's the corner that reaches the edge of the cup and where we started doing our back panel. And once we have this, we're going to pull our yarn through, we're going to chain up one to secure. And then from here, we're just going to go in putting one single crochet into each of these kind of loops that we have. They're not any real loops for us to go into, so we're just going to have to find one and then stick to that pattern. Make sure that you guys don't put too many single crochets in one area, otherwise it'll bunch up. And then once we get all the way down here, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. It's just going to be a really quick decrease just to make sure that this portion doesn't bunch up. But then I will show you how to do the rest. So I'll meet you guys back once we get down to the bottom of the V. We've single crocheted all the way down till we got to the point of the V that we have. And now we're just going to do a super simple uh, decrease. <laughs> so once we get down here, we have these two loops on either side of our seam that we just did when we connected the two back panels. So we're just going to insert our hook into the loop that we have on one side of the seam, yarn over, pull through, and then insert our hook to the loop that we have on the other, other side of the seam, yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to yarn over, pull all three, and then that is our decrease. And then once we get here, we're going to continue doing the same thing of single crocheting all the way up until we get to the side of the cup. We're going to slip stitch into the next available loop in the cup. And we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to go in with our little itty bitty loops that we're going to use for our corset back tie. Once we went all the way around with our row of single crochet along the V, we're next going to go in with our corset back tie. So we're going to take a look and see where our single crochets kind of start to turn where we meet our corner. And then as you guys can see, it is right about here. So let's take this off my finger first. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook. And then all we're going to do, we're going to start off by making a chain out of four. One, two, three, four. The first three count as a double crochet. Once we have that, we're going to prepare for a double crochet. Skip one loop. Insert our hook into the loop after that with a double crochet. Let's do this one more time together. So we're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, skip one double crochet into the next and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we just have a handful of loops left before we get to the bottom of the V and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. This is what we have once when we have done our net going all the way down one side and like I said I left just a couple loops right before we got our way down to this middle loop that we have so I left one loop and this is our middle loop right here so all we're going to do since we're going into that middle loop we're not going to do a chain out of one so we're just going to prepare for a double crochet we're still going to be skipping one loop, inserting our hook into that middle loop with a double crochet, just like how we've been doing. And then we're going to want to make sure that the other side is exactly the same as this side. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet, no chain one, prepare for a double crochet, skip one loop, double crochet into the loop after that. Then this is going to be where the middle is. And we're mainly doing this so that it doesn't bunch up as well. But once we have this, we're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, skip one loop, insert into the loop after that and then we're going to keep doing this guy all the way until we get to this other corner that we have and then we're going to chain up one and cut and then we're going to start working on the sleeves to start off the sleeve we're first going to grab our category three yarn make a slip knot grab our four millimeter hook and we're going to start off by making a very simple chain that can wrap around the upper part of your arm and just as a reference mine will be 10 inches once we have our chain, the first row that we're going to do is a row of single crochet. So all we're going to do is block off that last chain that we made, chain up one extra that counts as a single crochet, and then into that chain that we blocked off, we're going to insert our hook or the second chain from the hook with a single crochet. And once we have that, we're going to 
put one single crochet into every loop going back down our chain. Once we have our first row of single crochet, what we're going to do next is the bulk of the inside part of our sleeve. So what we're going to do is chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. We're going to flip our work and then just for this first row and then the last row, but I'll show you guys when we get there, we're going to be doing back loop double crochets. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then instead of going in through both of these loops, we're just going to be going in through the back loop and we're going to be doing that for every stitch that we have going back down our work. Once we have our first row of back loop double crochets done, we're going to do more rows of double crochet, but these are going to be regular. So we're going to chain up three, that counts as a double crochet, flip our work, and then from here we're going to prepare for a double crochet. You guys already know, go into that next loop with a double crochet. And we're going to go all the way down our work, putting one double crochet into every loop. Once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up another three, work our way back, and keep going back and forth like that. And then I'll actually meet you guys back right before we finish our sleeve because I am going to need to decrease for where my arm starts to taper in. But I'll meet you back once when I have about an inch and a half and then I'll show you guys how I decrease. I now have my inch and a half and what I'm going to do is do a decrease in this next row. So I'm going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. Flip our work and then we're going to decrease into the first two loops first. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into this first loop, yarn over, pull through, into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then once when I get here, I'm going to be putting one double crochet into every loop until I've gone into 11 loops, and then I'm going to decrease again. But this is going to be different for every person, depending on how tight you want this to be and your own arm. But I'm going to keep doing that all the way until we get to the end and then we have one more row to do before we start working on the ruffles. Once we have our row of decrease, I'm just going to do one more row of double crochet just to even this out, but you guys can make this part as long or as short as you guys want. So all I'm going to do is chain up three, flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, and then go all the way down our work with a row of double crochet. I'm now finished up doing my last row of double crochets and just to let you guys know in total I have about two and a half inches and we just have one more row of single crochet to do and we're going to do the row of single crochet so that we have another row like this, another ribbing row so that we can attach both of our ruffles. So this is going to be different for everyone but let me just show you guys what we're going to do from here is chain up one and flip our work and then for each person you guys are either going to be going in through the front loop or the back loop all you guys want to do is make sure that this ribbing is on the same side for both of the ones that we're about to do so since i chained one and flipped my work as you guys can see my ribbing is going to be on this side so i'm going to be going in with a row of back loop single crochets but if yours is the front loop that's totally fine you didn't do anything wrong go ahead and just continue on with whatever row you guys have going all the way down and then we will be done with this portion but don't cut and tie because we do still need to connect the two sides together once we finished up doing our row of back loop or front loop, whatever you guys have, single crochets, we're just going to double check, make sure that our ribbing is on the same side. And once we have that, we're going to fold our sleeve in half because now we're going to connect it and we're going to fold it, making sure that the ribbing is on top of each other. And then from here, we're going to insert our hook into the corner, yarn over, pull through everything. And then we're going to be working into these side double crochets. And you guys know once when we have a side double crochet, we're going to be putting two single crochet into each of those and then once we make it to the end we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to flip our work around because then we're going to start working on the ruffles we have connected the entirety of our cuff portion and now we're going to start working on the top ruffles and then from here we flipped it inside out and we're just going to insert our hook into any one of these ridging loops that we made for ourselves and then we're going to insert our yarn onto there once we have that, we're going to chain up one, two, three. This counts as a double crochet. Prepare for a double crochet. Go into that same loop that we just went into with another double crochet. And then from here, we're going to be going once into every one of these ridging loops that we have with two double crochets. So this entire row is going to be an increase. So go ahead and do that. Once you guys make it to the end, connect with a slip stitch, and then I'll show you guys how to do the rest. Once we have our first row of double crochet done for our cuff, the next row that we're going to do, well, for every row that we're going to do after this for this portion of the ruffle, 
we're just going to chain up three that counts as a double crochet and then just put one double crochet into every loop that we have going all the way around once we make it to the end connect with a slip stitch and keep going like that i'm going to keep going until i have a total of three inches and that is going to cover this cuff portion that we have a little bit because i want that to cover the second layer of ruffles that we're going to have on the bottom so go ahead and do that once you guys have a length that you guys want go ahead and cut and tie and i'll meet you guys back once when i have mine all finished we have just finished up doing our first ruffle and this is what it should look like this is the underneath part where the cuff cuff is and then this is pretty much it pretty basic and the next layer is going to be the bottom layer which is going to be a little lacy so what we're going to do we're actually going to flip this one upside down to make it a little bit easier for ourselves and then i like to start my ruffles the top and the bottom where the seam is but what we're going to do from here is take our yarn make a slip knot we're going to insert our hook into this row of ribbing that we have so into any one of these loops that's close to the seam it doesn't matter which one then we're going to pull this through we're going to chain up one two if i can get a grip on it we're going to chain up one to secure and then from here we're going to do the same thing that we started off this way but instead of doing a row of double crochet increases we're going to be doing single crochet increases so into the same loop that we're in we're going to do another single crochet but let's just show you guys through a different loop we're going to insert our hook in through this loop we're going to single crochet and then into that same loop we are going to single crochet again so an increase into every loop with a yeah, with a single crochet once we make it to the end we're going to connect with a slip stitch and then i will meet you guys back we've made it all the way around with our row of increased single crochet and now we're going to start working on the lacy bits so from here we're going to chain up three there we go that counts as a double crochet we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then into the same loop that we're in we're going to insert our hook with a double crochet and from here we're going to chain out one prepare for a double crochet skip one loop insert our hook into that second loop with one two double crochet and this is what our work should be looking like let's do this one more time chain out one prepare for a double crochet skip one loop two loops into the loop after that two double crochet and then this is what we should have and we're going to do this all the way around once we get to the end we're going to connect with a slip stitch making our way all the way around with our row of thicker net which is two double crochet chain one two double crochet into every other loop we're going to be doing the same thing so in order to make our way over to this first gap we're first going to slip stitch over there once we get to this gap we're going to single crochet into there we're going to start off by chaining up four one two three four the first three count as a double crochet prepare for a double crochet and then we're going to go into this next gap that we have with two double crochet just like that once we have that chain up one two double crochet into the next gap then we're going to keep doing that all the way around once we make it to the end make sure that we end off this one with two double crochet and then we're going to do two rows of diamonds after this but i'll show you guys how to do that once when we get there we've made it all the way around with our second row of thicker net and like i said now we're going to work on a row of diamonds so now that we're here we're going to single crochet into the next gap that we see we're going to chain up four one two three four the first three count as a double crochet and then into this next gap that we have we're going to be doing a diamond so we're going to prepare for a double crochet insert our hook into that gap and do one double crochet and then we're going to chain out one two three prepare for a double crochet and then go into that same gap with a double crochet and then that is our diamond and then once we have one of those guys we're going to chain out one prepare for a double crochet into the next gap double crochet chain one into the next gap do another diamond so double crochet chain out three double crochet chain one into the next gap double crochet and then this is going to be our pattern going all the way around and for the next row i'm going to show you guys how to do the next row good but it's basically going to be the same thing but i'll meet you guys back once we make our way over to this end once we have this row the next thing we're going to do is the exact same thing so we're going to chain up four the first three count as a double crochet 
and then it's going to be super simple into this diamond we're going to be doing another diamond so double crochet chain three double crochet all into that diamond gap once we have that we're going to chain one prepare for a double crochet put one double crochet into this singular double crochet that we have and then chain one diamond into this diamond and we're going to keep doing that all the way around we're now all finished up with our second row of diamonds and the last thing that we have to do is just do a row of single crochet that goes all the way around just to clean up the edges a little bit but it's going to be just a little different so what we're going to do is chain up one and then into this first gap i'm not going to be going into the loops we're going to be going into the gaps we're going to put a single crochet and then we're going to skip over into this diamond gap and then i know that we have a chain of three but we're actually going to be putting four single crochet into the middle of this diamond three four and then we're doing that so that the edge of this diamond can curve up just a little bit more and then once we have that we're going to go into this gap with one single crochet next gap one single crochet and then we're back at this diamond gap so one more time we're going to be putting four single crochet into there and then that is the pattern going all the way around once we reach the end, we are going to connect with a slip stitch, chain up one, and cut. And then we're done with the sleeve. Once when you guys have this guy done, we're going to do the same thing one more time. Once when we're done doing both of our sleeves, the next thing that we have to do for the dress is just connect it. And it's going to be super duper simple, so let's do that right now. We're first going to take a look at this side panel that we made for ourselves. And the side panel is just the blunt portion that we made straight across right before we started doing the back V. But once we get here, we're first going to grab our sleeve and then there's not going to be any real number count. We're going to try and make sure that our seam aligns somewhere in the middle of our side panel. And then once when you get here, you're going to insert your hook into any one of the loops. It doesn't matter which one into the sleeve first and then into the back panel that we have and not into this first loop where the nets is. We're actually going to go into the loop right next to that. We're going to insert our yarn. We're going to pull through and then we're going to chain up one to secure. And then once we have that, we're going to be going in through both loops with a row of single crochet. And then that's going to be what connects it all together. So into this first loop that we have in the sleeve, we're going to insert our hook and then into the next available loop that we have into the dress, we're going to single crochet and we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we have made our way all the way down the side panel that we have on the back of the dress and then we're going to cut and tie and then you guys go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of the sleeve as you guys can see I already have mine done and then I will meet you guys back now that we have both of our sleeves attached the last thing that I'm going to do to the dress other than weaving in the ends is just go in through the bottom with a row of single crochet just to clean up the bottoms a little bit and then the only tip that I have for you guys is I know that you guys already know how to do it is don't put too many single crochets in one area otherwise it'll bunch up but other than that we will be all done so i'll meet you guys back once we have this done and then weave in our ends as well once we're done doing this bottom row of single crochet i have woven in all my ends and we are all done the last thing that we have to do is just make a regular chain that can weave in and out of all of these back loops and then we're all done Ooh. This one was quite the dress and video to make, but if you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and give yourselves a pat on the back because this one was a trek. This project took quite a bit of time, but I'm really happy with the results, and I'm glad that you guys liked it enough to vote for it on our poll that we had on Instagram and YouTube. And since you guys like it so much, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos and it goes a really long way to helping the channel grow and gain some traction. But if you didn't like it, give this video a thumbs down, but be sure to leave a comment letting me know why you didn't like it. Or if you have any questions, requests, or if y'all just want to say what's up, I usually reply pretty quick. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority when it comes to requests, and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow so I can keep making all these great videos for you guys. But if you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new upload for you guys right away, and please share with your crafty friends. Every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description, and if you buy something using those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. 
Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.